In this video I'm going to show how to do squaring of numbers using a working base. And this uses a combination of two um, methods. Uh, the multiplication uh, using a working base which is a, a multiple or a factor of a power of 10, like 10 or 100 or 1000, together with the uh, squaring of numbers which was shown in a previous video. I'll just uh, uh, revise that. There was um, a, a case where we had 97 squared and we take the uh, deficiency uh, from 100 which is 3 and we reduce 97 by 3 giving 94. And then just set up the square of the uh, deficiency 0, 09. Two digits are, uh, are here, 0, 09, not just 9, because we're relating the 97 to 100, which has two zeros. And where the number is more than the base, like 104 squared, we take the surplus 4 and add it on, making 108, and then set up the square of the surplus 16, <coughs> like so. Now when we come to a working base, uh, this uh, involves the proportionately subrule. So let's have a look at that. We'll take 53 squared as the first example. We're going to relate uh, this to 50. 50 is the working base and we'll take it as 100 divided by 2. So we take the surplus 3 and add it on to the 53 making 56. And then on the right hand side we put down the square of 3 which is 0, 9. And then Dividing the left-hand part by this proportionality, divided by 2, 2 into 56 goes 28, and the answer is 2809. And when the number is below the working base, like 48 squared, here we have a deficiency of 2. So we reduce 48 by 2, making 46, and then set up the square of the deficiency, 2 squared is 4. Again, we multiply or divide the uh, left-hand part by 2, making 2304 is the square of 48. Uh, let's have a look at 23 squared. Here we're going to take 20 as the working base, which is 2 times 10. 20 is equal to 10 multiplied by 2. So the left-hand side of the answer we're going to multiply by 2. The surplus is 3, so we add it on. It's 26. And then put down the square of the deficiency, 9. Notice that only one digit on the right here, because 10 has one zero in the base. And then we multiply the left-hand part by 2, giving 52. So the answer is 529. Uh, another example, going back to, let's have a look at um, a method, uh, a, student, a student of mine, Lydia, she showed me something rather interesting about the uh, using 50 as a working base. So let's just e examine this, it's quite, uh, quite interesting. So if we take, go back to uh, 50, we'll take 52 squared as, uh, as an example. Um, and the method by the method I've just shown, uh, using 100 as the real base, so 50 is 100 divided by 2. We add on the uh, surplus 2 to 52, making 54, and then set up the square of 2 is 0, 4. And then divide the 54 here by 2, 2 into 54 goes 27. Now if we examine this, this 27 here, what is it made up of? It's made up of the 52, add the surplus 2, that makes 54, and then divided by uh, 2. And this could be written as 50 divided by 2 plus 2 and that's 25 add 2. And that 2 there is the is the surplus. So 
Uh, what she showed me was that we could take the 52 and take the 50 of 52 and halve it immediately, giving 25, and then add the surplus, making 27, and then put up the uh, square of the surplus, uh, 4. And the same will work with a number like 46 squared. We can take 50 as the, as the working uh, base, half of that is 25, then take away the deficiency is 21, and then set up the square of the deficiency, 60, uh, 16, because uh, deficiency is 4 and 4 squared is 16. And I thought that was quite a neat method. Now, <clears throat> let's look at um, a, larger, a larger case of 507 squared. Well, here we can take 1,000 as the uh, working as the real base, and a thousand divided by two is the is is five hundred. So we increase five uh, increase five hundred and seven by seven, giving five one four. And on the right we'll have zero four nine, three digits because there are three zeros in a thousand. And then dividing the left hand side by two, we get two hundred and fifty seven. So the answer is 257049. Well, that's nice. And this actually provides us with uh, different ways in which we can square square numbers. So what I'm going to do now is take one, one number and have a look at the different ways in which it, it can, be, uh, can be squared. And I'm going to take 57 as an example. So the, the first method, we can take uh, 50 as a working base. 50 equals 100 divided by 2. So we'll increase 57 by 7, making 64. And then put down the square of the surplus here, which is uh, 7 squared is 49. And then we're going to divide the left-hand side by 2 giving 3249 as the answer. But we could also take also take uh, 50 as uh, 10 multiplied by 5. So the second method, method B, is that we increase, again increase the uh, 57 by the surplus, making 64. This time we're only allowed one digit on the right, so 7 squared is going to be 9 with 4 to carry. And we can multiply, then we've got to multiply the left hand side by 5. And a quick way to multiply by 5 is to multiply by 10 and halve it. Well, 64 multiplied by 10 is 640, and half of that is 320. And then we've got the, the 4 to carry across to the left here, making 3249. Our method C, um, this is Lydia's method, uh, we take the, um, the 57 <coughs> and the working base 50 and halve it giving 25 and then add 7 to it. So we get 32 and then set up the square of the surplus which is 49. That's nice and quick, I like that. Now method D uh, we could take 60 as a working base. 60 is equal to 10 times 6. So uh, 57 this time has a deficiency of 3. So we decrease, decrease 57 by 3, giving 54. And then set up the square of the uh, deficiency is is just 9 because the deficiency is 3, 3 squared is 9. And then we multiply the left hand side by 6. So we get 9 here. 4 sixes are 24. 5 sixes are 30. Add the carry 2 makes uh, 32. And so there are four, four methods uh, for uh, squaring 57. Well, here's another one. 
This this time this is uh, called straight squaring in the in the Wedic system, and straight squaring. Um, all it takes is this, you put down the square of the last digit, which is 49. You take the two digits and multiply them together and double your answer. So 5 sevens is 35, double it 70, and add on this carry 4 is 74. And then square the first digit, 25, and add in this carry digit, giving 32. So there's there's yet an, uh, another method, and that can be used in, in all cases. I noticed also recently the, um, the Chinese method of, of multiplying, where you, you draw um, a, a, like a, a crisscross grid of, of um, these, these numbers. So five, well, 57 would be represented by five lines here, and then seven lines here. And then 50, another 57 is over here, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we look at the number of cross, crossed points in each of, these, in each of these places. So over here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 by 5 is 25. And over here we've got 7 by 5, making 35. And the same is true here, 35. And down here we've got 7 by 7, uh, making 49. And then all we need to do is to add these four numbers together in, in this format. Uh, 2500, um, and then we've got two 35s, making 700, and then the 49 on the end and add these numbers up um, and we get the answer 3249 again. Uh, that's quite a fun approach but it's rather cumbersome when the the digits in the number are large. So um, and finally there's uh, the algebraic method which is that 57 squared is Algebraically, it's 5x plus 7 times 5x plus 7. And when you multiply these two binomial expressions together, we can use vertically and crosswise to do that. We have 5x times 5x is 25x squared. And then 7 times 5x is 35x. And another 35x this way makes 70x. And then on the end, 7 7 is 49. And the, uh, the key to this is letting x equal 10, because if x is 10 here, then 5x plus 7 makes 57. And in the answer here, x squared is 100, so we have 2500 plus 70 lots of 10 is 700 uh, plus 49. And again, we get the same answer, 3249. Well, that's quite good fun.